Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the DXGI error device removed on your computer. So whether you're running various applications and you're coming across this issue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in RegEdit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to come back with Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select Yes. Now before you proceed in the Registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab and then select Export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, again, that's pretty simple too. Just go left click on the File tab and select Import and navigate over to the file location. So, pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, now you want to expand the HK Local Machine folder. So, either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. You want to do the same thing now for the system folder, so expand that one as well. Should be our current control set folder, expand that one. And then right underneath control, you want to expand that one too. And now there should be a graphics drivers folder right here. Expand that. And now that you've done that, on the right side, you want to go right click in a blank area. Select new and then select DWORD 32-bit value. You want to go type in TDR and then uppercase L and then lowercase level. So TDR level, the T in TDR and the L in level are both capital, but everything else is lowercase and there are no spaces in between any of these characters. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to save that. Now that you have gone ahead and done that, you want to go just make sure value data is set to zero here, which it should be by default, but go ahead and double click on it just to be sure. Value that again should say zero in here. Base hexadecimal. Decimal would honestly be the same thing as well in this particular case. If you already have this D word value in here, just change the value data to zero. So you saw me create it, but if you already have one in here, just change it to zero and go ahead and select OK to save the change. Now that you've done that, you should be able to go ahead and close out of here. So let me just close out of these subfolders here. Close out of here. What to just restart your computer and hopefully that's resolved the problem. Another thing you can attempt would be to open up the start menu once again. Type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to expand the display adapter section, so you double click on it or left click on a little arrow on the left side of it to expand it. And there should be a display adapter listed under here, you want to right click on it, select update driver, select search automatically for updated driver software. Okay, so it might say the best 
drivers for your device are already installed, in which case it's fine, you can select close. You can go online and look up your display adapter and then just download the drivers automatically or manually, depending on how you want to look at it. Most display drivers like AMD and NVIDIA will actually have their own installers that will take care of the whole process for you, so you don't actually have to manually install it. You just run the executable and it actually will automatically install the driver software. So that's just another method for you guys to consider. But hopefully the first thing I went over should be able to resolve most of your issues. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.